Welcome. In this video, we are going to solve a line integral by using Stokes theorem. The question is, use Stokes theorem to evaluate the line integral of x y dx plus x y square dy, where c is the square having vertices 1 1, minus 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 and minus 1 1 in x y plane. So first we will explain the Stokes theorem. So what is Stokes theorem? The Stokes theorem can be applied on the surfaces which are open. If you have a glass, then it will be open surface. If you close it by a lid, then it will be a closed surface. So Stokes theorem can be applied with open surfaces. Open surface means with the surfaces which are not closed. Suppose you have a sphere and it is closed surface and you have a sphere with some hole. In case it is having hole, you cannot find the volume of this sphere. But it will have a definite boundary at its hole. So what does Stokes theorem do? It will connect the surface integral at the surface and the line integral at the boundary. So it will connect the line integral at the boundary and the surface integral at the surface. So how will it connect? If you want to find the line integral of a vector field at the boundary. So where is the boundary? The boundary is taken at the opening point. point. So where is the boundary C? So C is the boundary of the opening. So it can be converted to the surface integral. The surface is not closed. That is why this closing sign is not there. So how the Stokes theorem connects with the line integral to the surface integral? First we will take curl of f dot ds or dot and cap ds. In this way, we have connected the line integral of a vector field with the surface integral of the ve that vector field. But the condition is the surface must be open so that it will have a definite boundary at the opening. Now, here the given integral is the given integral is c x y dx plus x y square dy so this can be obtained if we have f vector equal to x y i cap plus x y square j cap so we can write r vector the position vector is r vector that is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap and the dr vector will be equal to dx i cap plus dyj cap plus dz k cap. So what is f dot r? So f dot r is how much? f dot r. f dot r is xy f dot r dx plus xy square dy plus 0. So it is xy dx plus x y square dy now f dot r it means the given integral this one this one can be written as c f dot dr now this integral this line integral can be converted to the surface integral how much it is surface integral of curl of f dot and cap ds so first we will have to find the curl of f. The curl of f will be how much? Will be i cap, j cap, k cap, del over del x, del over del y, del over del z. Then x y, x y square and 0. So curl of f will be equal to i cap, del over del y of 0 minus del over del z of x y square x y square minus j cap del over del x of 0 minus del over del z of x y then k cap k cap this row this column will be out it will be del over del x it is x it is del over del x x y square minus del over del y of x y 
So now this I cap and the differentiation of xy square with respect to z it will also be zero that means it is zero minus j cap the first one is zero and the differentiation of xy with respect to z is also zero plus k cap. The differentiation of xy square with respect to x it will give x differentiation of x is one so it will give y square. Differentiation of xy with respect to y it will give x into one so it is minus x. So the curl of f will be y square minus x k cap. Now we will have to find n cap. So first we will draw the surface. So we have to evaluate the integral along the surface whose boundary is given by four points 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 that means it is given by this square so it is a b c and d if you want to trace this curve we will move in such a way that the surface lies on the left side so it will be a b c d but here we do not have to evaluate the line integral, we have to evaluate surface integral. In this surface, which is in the xy plane, and we are we are moving this way, that means its normal, or you can say its outward normal will be along z axis. If these are xy axis, so outward normal will be and cap will be along positive z axis and the unit vector and unit vector along positive z axis is k cap so n cap will be equal to k cap so in the surface integral n cap can be written as k cap this n cap can be written as k cap what is ds now this square this surface lies in xy plane so we do not have to take the projection of this surface on the xy plane because it is already lying on the xy plane. So ds can be converted to dx, dy and we have to take the proper limits of xy. So x varies from minus 1 to 1. Here you can see y varies from minus 1 to 1. So now we can write the surface integral. The surface integral of curl of f dot n cap ds can now be written as x equal to minus 1 to 1, y equal to minus 1 to 1, the two limits. The curl f has the curl of f, it was y square minus x k cap. So curl of f was y square minus x k cap. And the n cap was also k cap and ds is converted to dx dy. You can write dy dx because first we I have taken the limits of x and then y. That means so here k cap dot k cap is 1. So you can write it as x equal to minus 1 to 1, y equal to minus 1 to 1, y square minus x dy dx. So what we'll have to do? First, we will have to solve this integral only the inner part the integration with respect to y so x equal to minus 1 to 1 and then the integration of this one the y integration of y square is y cube by 3 minus x into y so it is y equal to minus 1 to 1 and dx so we will put the limits equal to x equal to minus 1 to 1 it is 1 upon 3 minus x now we will put minus 1 it is minus minus 1 cube is minus 1 so it is minus 1 upon 3 and it is minus 1 here that means it is plus of x into dx we will open this bracket it will x equal to minus 1 to 1 1 upon 3 minus x plus 1 upon 3 minus x. So none of these cancels out. It becomes double. 
so it is minus 1 to 1 it is 2 upon 3 minus 2x and dx so it, integration of this one is 2 upon 3x minus x square with the limits x equal to minus 1 to 1 that means it will be 2 upon 3 minus 1 and when put minus 1 it is minus minus 2 upon 3 or minus 1 so it will become 2 upon 3 minus 1 minus 2 upon 3 plus 1 so it is 4 upon 3 because 1 cancels out so the integration is 4 upon 3 so right hand side is 4 upon 3 so what was left hand side left hand side was the required integral x y dx plus x y square dy so it is now equal to 4 upon 3. So in this way, we have calculated this line integral by using Stokes theorem. We have converted the line integral to the surface integral. Then we have evaluated the value. So it is 4 upon 3. The notes of this video in PDF format can be found in the description below. Thank you.